Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the, this channel, Preacher Man, Preacher Motor Man. For another video, I'm going to try to make it quick today. Just a little bit of a follow-up on an earlier video where I talked to you about this uh, unexplained damage to my bike. And here is that damage right here. So I got to replace this breather cover. Now I know it would have been a great time to go ahead, you think, to go ahead and upgrade to a stage one to get a, a, a high intake, a high airflow breather. But I just don't have the funds for that right now. But uh, I got this box right here, sitting on top of the garbage can. And uh, inside of it, Inside of it is, I've got this. So we're gonna put it on. I've got this, uh, it's a uh, 5 16th hex head for here. There's a gasket under there. I don't think I got a new gasket with the new with the new cover. So it goes a certain way. Keep that safe. And uh, there's the damage. Got to get this off. Uh oh. Uh-oh, I bent it. Uh-oh, oh no. So this thing is secured with some sticky stuff. And I gotta try to get this off without denting this or I may have to order another one of these. I've already bent it a little bit, but it might still be salvageable. I don't know what I thought. I guess I thought it was uh, heavier duty than that. Huh, that's funny. All right, so I got it off. Doesn't look too bad. So I got to get this stuff. You know, I originally ordered this part from Harley and it was $89. And then I found it at the Harley Davidson dealership for $69. And now I'm wondering, I'm wondering if the difference was is that the $89 one still had already had this badge on it. Uh, so it's very, very possible. So, uh, all I gotta do now is stick this badge, stick this badge on this thing. Came with some two-sided sticky stuff. Came inside looking for a little bit of a cooler spot. You can hear, uh, I have a dehumidifier a few feet away running, a, a washing machine dryer that's running, and an air conditioner that's running. So it is, it is what it is. So this, uh, <clears throat> this kit, came with these two two-sided sticky things to put the badge back on and it also came with this warning sticker that I'm not going to use All right, so it says to uh oh clean everything up with 50 50 alcohol and water I'm just going to use rather than alcohol we'll clean this up real good all right, so I got one side of this peeled off. We'll stick it right here where the other one was at. And that was just one side of this one. 
stick it there. Okay. I got both, I got all the stuff pulled off. Now, stick this on here without it. I had to take a break from work, working on this uh, to go help the wife with the swimming pool pump. And so the sun has changed direction, so I can come to you from a... to come to you from a different angle. But uh, I got this on, and one thing that I don't like is that I never I didn't notice, I didn't really pay attention to the old one, but but right in here, it's not a good seal. Of course, this I mean water could go under there. And there's really nowhere for that water to go because there'll be a bolt in this hole right here. So I'm not crazy about that, but uh, it's it's on. So you got to get this gasket. Probably should have cleaned it first, but now I've got it. I got it started, so. Here we go with it. Okay, I got it back on, but it was a real pain in the butt and the gasket is still not right. So I've already called Harley and I've ordered a new gasket and I've ordered a new gasket when that gasket comes in. I'm gonna take it off and reinstall it because my gasket is messed up right there, right there. So what I did is I went ahead and I ordered a new, a new air filter and the gasket and when it comes in, I'm gonna take it all back off, gonna replace it. So I got the thing on, I'm still not happy with it, but I got it on and it was way harder than it should have been. It was an easy job. Take the old cover off, get the new cover, put the gap, put the badge on it, put the gasket on it, pop it on, put a bolt in, done. And it just, it just, it was hard. It was, uh, it was a pain in the butt. I'll just go ahead and tell you, it was a pain in the butt. So I have ordered a new gasket. And I have ordered a new gasket and I ordered a uh, new, I went ahead and ordered a new air filter. So while I got it off, I can replace the air filter. And uh, it's gonna take a couple of weeks, 10, to, 10 days to two weeks. I started to tell that guy at the Harley dealership because I asked for four items and all four of them uh, were not available. And uh, I, <laughs> I started to say, man, this would be a great place for a Harley Davidson Parks house. <laughs> but I, I'm too nice for that. I'm too nice for that, but I thought it. I thought it, but anyway, uh, anyway, this is life. This, this is, things don't always go as planned. Things are not always as easy as you thought it was going to be. You thought this, this, this thing in life was going to just be a breeze and it turned out to be, it turned out to be, uh, trouble hard, but this is the, this is the promise of, of the word that Jesus said in this world, you'll have trouble. But be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Now listen, don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, hit that bell icon, comment, share. I'll see you later.